Hi everyone and welcome to another Balloon Play video tutorial. And this time I had a request from one of my customers. His name is Javier. He bought one of my balloon animal kit and he wrote to me, asked me to make a balloon video tutorials on balloon weaving. What is balloon weaving? This is balloon weaving. Something like this. When you take a few balloons, at least three, and you tie them together and you start to weave a balloon creation. It can come like this, or like this, or like this, or like this, and even like this. So you can create a vase and put some flowers inside. But in this video, I would like to make this hat. So without further ado, let's go to my desk. All right, so let's do some balloon weaving. For this video tutorials, you will need the balloon play pump and six balloon animals. You can do, you can use less. You can start from a three, uh, but for this video, I'm taking you straight to the big challenge, six balloons. So let's start first to remind all of you, uh, when you're inflating a balloon animal, first stretch it properly and open the balloon play pump, put it like this, and inflate to this desired length. Uh, for this tutorial, I'm going to inflate all of them, leaving approximately eight fingers of a tail, just like so. Before you make a knot, always uh, release a bit of air and make a knot. So let's do it quickly. Good. Todo listo. Muy bien. Okay, so let's start. The first step is uh, tying uh, two balloons together. So look how you do it because normally it's a bit difficult for a lot of people. So I'll show you. So you hold the balloon like so. Take one nozzle and take the other nozzle and make an X. Twist around and you make a normal knot. Let's do it again. Try to practice it, it's really important. It will be very useful for your balloon animal twisting. Also with round balloons as well. So again, I'm holding one, just like tweezers. I'm holding the second, I'm creating an X. Turn it around. And here I'm making a, just a basic knot. Ta-da! Next one, like this. An X, and I twist it around, and I make a knot. Just like this. Now we need to connect them together, so let's take all the nozzles together and twist them. One, two, three. In the middle, I want to create a pinch twist. All right. I'll take one of the balloons. Before I make a pinch twist, I always press them a bit and I'll twist. Voila. Now let's start. I'll use um, all the bubbles the same, so I'll do three fingers of a bubble. So first I'll do a bubble and a pinch twist. So three fingers bubble and a pinch twist in all of them. This will be the basic, the top of the top hat. Pinch twist. And three fingers. Pinch twist. Three fingers. Pinch twist. Voila! This is how it looks. Now we start to weave. We will use the pinch twist uh, to, to hold the weave. So we will do three fingers bubble and weave it here. So three finger bubble, slightly bigger, three finger bubble. And we're going to weave it here. How do I weave? I take it below the pinch twist. Again, three finger bubble below the pinch twist and repeat. Excellent. 
And the last one, just like this, and below the pinches. Ta-da! We finished the first weave. And now let's learn the next step in balloon weaving, which is spacer bubble. The spacer bubble will come here and it will determine what space you have between each row of your weave. So, let's, uh, I'll do a smaller, a smaller uh, spacer bubble. So I do, let's say, one finger bubble and a pinch twist. Just like so, and I'm going to repeat all the six balloons. A spacer bubble and a pinch twist. That's it. I'm done. Now I'm going to weave again. So just like we did here, I'm going to do here. So I'm going to do the same bubble and I'm going to weave it around the pinch twist. You see the pattern? So I'm going to continue. Bubble and weave it around the pinch twist. I repeat the same thing. Bubble and weave it around the pinch twist. I did a small pinch twist here. Need to redo it. Hold on. One second. Oh, one second. Let me fix it. Oh, I think the air is out. So don't you worry. If it's out, I'm taking my balloon cutter. Get the air out. This can happen. You make a knot. Make a knot and you cut off the axis just like this. Okay, you take a new balloon. So do not discourage if a balloon pop in the middle of your weaving. And turn it around the pinch twist. And we continue. Where were we? Yeah, we have a spacer bubble and a pinch twist. This is what we were missing, and we continue. We do a bubble and around the pinch twist. Again, a bubble around the pinch twist. Bubble and around the pinch twist. And the last one is a bubble and around pinch twist. So, we finish the second line of weaving. As you can see, this is how it looks from above. From below, you can push the pinch twist inside, like so, and push it in, and then it can be like the vase I showed you, the brown vase with the flower. So let's continue, let's put it back because we're making a top hat. And now let's make a wider spacer bubble just to show you how it looks. So this is a big spacer bubble and a pinch twist. I'm trying to do the same size. So these three fingers, actually four fingers. I'll do here and a pinch twist. I'll repeat here, four finger and a pinch twist. Four finger and a pinch twist. Four finger and a pinch twist. And the last one, four finger and a pinch twist. And again, let's weave it again. So you saw the pattern, so we'll do it here again. Now I'll try to do it a little bit bigger that the rim will be big enough. So I'll do with a six finger of a bubble and a twist. Repeat the same thing. You can either measure like this. Okay, this, this is the size I'm going to do here. Twist and come here. Again, I'm going to can measure like this. <coughs> come here. 
or just say, okay, this is six fingers, so this is six fingers. Whatever comfortable for you. One before last. Voila. All right, so this is how we made our top hat. So you can see there is a small space of bubble or a big space of bubble. You decide if you want it tight or you want it with space. This is it. Now, so let's finish it up. As you can see, you can add another brim around it. Or in this case, because I don't have a lot of uh, uh, spare bubble, what I'll do, I'll just do a small round in each corner. So I'm going to take, I'll do a fold bubble and twist, just like this. And then a fold bubble, just like this. Here I'm going to add another balloon. So here a fold bubble, just like this, fold bubble. this and here I need to add another balloon here I'm going to add another balloon I'm going to get rid of access Another like this like a lot. here as well. We need to clean up our creation. Okay. All the axes you cut off. Another one, just like this. Taking an access, you see, taking a spare. Voila, and here I have a top hat with six balloons. Of course, you can go and uh, make it tidier, all the pinch twists, same direction, and so on. But this is the basic balloon weaving technique. So, how was it? Yes, I know it is challenging, but I'm sure you can do it if you practice it. Balloon weaving can take your balloon creation to the next level. So that's it for now. Thank you for watching. I would love to hear from you and see your creation. What did you do with the balloon weaving? You can upload your creation to my uh, Facebook page. Look for Balloon Play or you can just write me an email through balloonplay.com and I will upload it for you. Thank you for your time and I'll see you in the next one.